Hey there everybody, welcome back to their flat tie on Friday. Tonight I'll be tying uh, a streamer I've started fishing a lot for smallmouth and trout too, but uh, I'm calling it the Marabou Minnow, and basically just because it's mostly Marabou and, and imitates a, it's a pretty good minnow imitator. So, starting off with a Allen size 6 um, wide gap bass bug hook and got some 6 aught white thread just working my way back to the bend there and we'll tie in some white marabou for the tail so I like to go ahead and just uh, clean up the end the edges a little bit get the junky fibers out of the way and so you're just working with the tip I also like to just take the very tip out pluck that tip out that gives you a nice even edge of feathers. So we're going to tie that in a little longer than the length of the hook shank. And we'll go ahead and wrap the stem of that feather down the rest of the way to keep our body profile and just secure everything down. Alright, now we're going to add some lateral line flashaboo. I just take a strand and double it over and put it on each side. So we're going to just tie that in so there's uh, two pieces going down each side and then I'll just bring all that back and cut it even with the tail. Alright, now that we got a little bit of flash in there, I'm going to take some chenille and this is some uh, just white chenille with a little bit of sparkle added to it. tie that in. Alright so now we're going to tie in some wire. This is just uh, ultra wire by UTC. This is the brassy size in silver. And we're going to tie that in and that's going to hold our hackle down later on. Or our slapping. So once that's tied in you can just advance your thread to the eye of the hook and we'll just wrap up this chenille here. This is a really simple pattern, you can tie a bunch of them pretty fast and it seems to be pretty effective too. I've caught some nice smallmouth and trout. I tie this in uh, not only white but pretty much any color you could think of. Olive, brown, black, chartreuse, fire tiger, anything like that. So, Alright, now we're going to just select a uh, piece of schlappen and you want a pretty webby piece. You don't want the hack on this to be like a woolly bugger where it sticks straight out. You want this uh, the fibers to lay back towards the tail and flow with the water. So we're gonna tie that in with the uh, thick end of the feather in first towards the head. And I just pre I prepared that feather too. I just uh, trim the stem and uh, trim some fibers along the stem to give the thread something to grip to but we'll just tie that in and work that towards the back of the hook. And then once we get to the back of the hook, we're going to take our wire and capture the end of that feather and then work that wire up through the body and uh, if you just go kind of quick you won't capture many fibers. So so far we're just basically tying a woolly bugger and that's all this really is um, but we're gonna add a little bit 
of extra stuff on the head to make it more of a minnow profile. And take a pair of junky scissors and trim that wire out. Make sure everything's secure and we'll trim the tag end of that feather out as well. Now we're going to take two more pieces of marabou and just uh, select some pretty decent feathers with some long, longer fibers. And we're going to just lay one on top and on bottom of the hook shank. And we want it just to kind of bleed into the tail. so. And I'm just plucking the feathers off the side, preparing it just like I did the tail. You don't need this to be super thick, it's just kind of allowing the body to blend together. So. Alright, now we can just cut that excess out. And once we have all that excess feather cut out, we can just smooth out the head here. And now I'm just going to add two more pieces of that lateral line flashaboo right down the side of the fly on each side. And we'll cut that about the same length as the, the tail. Maybe a little shorter. Alright, now we'll just uh, clean up that head a little bit and, and go ahead and whip finish. Now you could easily fish this fly as it is, but I like to just finish off the head with some eyes and a little bit of UV glue, create a little bit of a skull look to it. So for the eyes, I'm using some eyes from Fly Tires Dungeon, and the glue I'm using is just the thick Loon UV resin. And this really just uh, covers up your thread wraps, makes this fly pretty much bulletproof. If you tie into like a a chain pickerel or maybe a small pike or something with one of these it's not going to rip apart because all this all your thread wraps are covered up with uh, the eyes and the glue so these flies last a long while Basically, we just want to make sure those eyes are even. And then once we think we got them, we just tack it with the light and make sure they look good, which they do. And we'll go ahead and just fill in around the eyes with the, with the glue. And as you can see, that kind of just makes a really solid skull profile. And uh, like I said earlier, it keeps all your threads 
wrapped up under the glue so nothing can get to them. But anyways, that's a uh, really productive smallmouth fly for me and go crazy with the colors, fish it, and uh, hopefully it does well for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week on another Fly Time Friday.